I think that was one of the worst movies I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> Hello, my name is Pavel and welcome back to my channel. Halloween season is upon us and I want to watch a horror movie, but today I'm not going to be watching any horror movie. I'm going to be watching the worst rated horror movie on IMDb. It's called The Weekend It Lives and I have no idea what it's about, but I just wanted to watch an awful horror movie. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm really excited because I made a few videos about awful horror movies recently and I had such a good time filming them that I'm like weirdly excited to watch an awful movie. I have no idea what this is about as I've mentioned, so I'm gonna make a quick guess by the poster. I'll put up the poster here and I'll um, guess. So I feel like this movie is gonna be about mm, a group of people that are going away to a cabin and then there's gonna be like a lumberjack dude, lumberjack person, I don't know. You know the people with the axes and like flannel shirts. <laughs> and he's gonna come and kill them with a huge ax and since it's a really low rated movie, like this got a 1.2 on IMDb, there's not gonna be a proper motive. We're not gonna know why he's going to kill these people. Uh, and the rest is just gonna be like useless scenes where people are just gonna be talking and um, I don't know, that's my guess. It's a very generic guess, but that's what it is. I'm gonna go watch it. I'm gonna stop talking. And once I do watch it, I'll fill you in about it and I'll tell you what I thought and it's probably going to be bad. <laughs> I'll see you in an hour and 10 minutes because this movie is like ridiculously short and that makes me worried that this movie is like 70 minutes long. <laughs> right, be right back. Okay. I think that was one of the worst movies I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, I don't even know where to start with this movie. The, watching that was so difficult for, for many reasons. But let me start with like the technical sides and where like I talk shit about the movie and then I'll actually get into the positives. Because believe me, there's actually a few positives and I didn't expect there to be, but that there, there actually was. So the first thing that I noticed is that there's a title change. They changed this movie from The Weekend It Lives to Axe M or vice versa. I don't know which way it was done and I have no idea why because it took me so long to find this movie online. Oh, it's getting like really dark for some reason. Uh, it took me so long to actually find this movie. So I looked everywhere and the only place I could find it was on YouTube in the worst quality ever. I found this movie on YouTube because it just uh, it just doesn't exist anywhere except on IMDb. And the first thing that I noticed is how awful the quality was. The quality of this movie, it's like 360p or 480p or something like that. It's, it's awful. And alongside the awful visual quality, the sound in this movie, holy fuck, you cannot hear anything. I feel like they had one microphone, like just an internal microphone within the camera, and that was it. At some abandoned house. Mike, leave him alone. Look, some said get the fuck out. I don't understand. If you want to stay away from Brian, fine. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm getting away from Brian. You fine. can go. You stay. I'm not standing here. I'm running back to Baltimore. There's nothing else because whenever a character is this close, you can hear what they're saying. Whenever a char character is standing like back there, no clue and there's so many scenes in this movie where you see characters like standing over there standing really far away and just having conversations and you're like what what what, what are you talking about I, I can't hear you and this is meant to add to the whole like world of this movie right so that's another awful thing before i even speak about what this movie is about it was so difficult to watch it's 80 minutes long this movie they couldn't even make it to 90 minutes i don't even think it's 80 minutes is it it's no it's 70 minutes long sorry they couldn't even make it to 80 minutes it's 70 minutes long and i it's one of those movies that you need to watch with a huge group of friends because watching it on your own was very painful i'm not gonna lie i checked how long was left for this movie like four or five times because i was fucking struggling to watch this you're probably like was it really that bad and like okay let me explain what this movie is about generically as i guessed which was fairly close this movie is about a group of people, like a huge group of people, that go away for a weekend and there's this guy who had somebody killed in his family and was related to these people. He's coming back to get revenge, 
or something like that because I just couldn't pick up on the story. I had to read about it online. There's a, 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 that's the first point I have in my notes is the amount of people in this group is insane. There's like 20 people. Every single time one of them dies, whatever gets killed, it, it doesn't feel like the group is getting smaller. So even at the end of the movie, you're like, why is there still like 11 people here? It just doesn't get shorter. And the movie starts with the first shot. It's just a, a, like a title. And it's like, this is everything that's happened. This is all the context you need to know. Quickly read this because it like disappears really quick. Like the text fades out super quick. And you're like, is, is that it? And then it just goes like bam into this weird like, I, I kind of liked it. It was like this weird scene that felt like a documentary. Like it didn't feel, feel like this was a, meant to be a part of the movie, but they just included it because why not? There's a huge group of people just telling uh, your mama so blank jokes for like five minutes and you're kind of watching it like, does this contribute to the story or is this like an introduction towards the characters? And it is like an introduction towards the characters and I found it funny like, That's another point I wrote down like as a good thing about it, I know I'm getting ahead of myself, is that the characters are actually enjoyable and they have so much energy. Like if they had a different group of people or just like somebody a lot more boring, this movie would be so much worse. I know this got a 1.2 on IMDb, but I feel like if the characters weren't as energetic, this movie would be even more difficult to watch. And the characters did kind of bring some life into it, which I definitely really liked. Shit, man. We're not just out of gas. We're lost like a motherfucker. I know that. Let's go find somebody who can help us. Man, I should have stayed on a goddamn bus. And another point I wrote down is like since there's a huge cast like I, f I feel like a lot of them were, were not acting They were just like hey just pretend to be this person and just do something and one pro again about having such a huge cast Is that you kind of feel like you're in the group You're just like hanging out with these people as they're going to this uh, a weird abandoned house Oh, it's getting really brilliant. You feel like you're just hanging out with them as they're having like a really hectic weekend which is once again a pro so i quite liked it um there's so many iconic and hilarious fucking scenes in this movie that i'm going to put in throughout like randomly this video and i can't really quote them because i don't remember because i couldn't hear what they were saying but there's so many like funny visual effects like not even effects just visuals like one there's uh this dude wears glasses and he's getting killed and he just he just this with his glasses but it's like zoomed in so it looks like his eyes are bouncing out of his head i guess it's like to symbolize like terror like being Horrified? I don't know, but it was good. There's very weird editing. I don't understand, and they just continuously reuse shots. There's a double take, so they just didn't get the scene right the first time, and they were like, yeah, let's film it again, but not get rid of the first take. So you see somebody running away, and then you see them running away again, and you're like, what, what is happening? I don't, I don't understand. Another another big point that I have in my notes is that this is not a horror movie. There's nothing terrifying or scary or thematically scary about this. There's like, okay, maybe one or two shots where somebody's getting killed, but the killing is like, this dude walks in, bam, another, and then another person gets killed and they go like, bam, and that's it. There's no build up, there's no suspense, there's no story, there's no proper context. People just get killed and that's it. It's not gory. I don't know. I would not consider this a horror movie. I would consider it kind of like a thriller, maybe. Even if you would consider it that, I don't. I don't know what you would like. I don't know what you would categorize this. <laughs> the the pros of this movie is that the yo mama scene thing was really funny. The energy of the characters was incredible. I really loved it. I honestly really did. And it did make this movie feel a little bit faster, but there was times where I'm telling you I had to keep looking at the time because I was like, how do we still have 30 minutes left? This movie is dragging on. I. Uh, with movies like this, I would always love to know like the background, the context. Why was this made? Was this a college project? Because if it was a college project, surely that's a bit too ambitious because there's like, it's too well thought out and I know I'm just talking shit about the movie, but like it's 70 minutes. So surely for a college project, it wouldn't be that defined, I guess. Well, uh, uh, like the mindset, like uh, even with the room, I feel like I understood the room a bit more than this. This movie is just, I don't know. It, 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 maybe this is what it's meant to do. It's make me, me, meant to make me feel speechless. Because that's how I feel right now, if I'm being honest. <laughs> also, it's so ironic because the production company for this movie is called Too Smooth Productions. And it's so funny because this is the least smooth movie I have seen ever. This movie is 
all over the place. There's like you get like random scenes of people just talking and you don't know what the fuck they're talking about and what and whenever you do know what they're talking about it doesn't add towards the story at all you're just kind of like oh you're speaking about your nails the product of nail coloring thing that you used does that add to the story uh no oh you're talking about blank that doesn't contribute to the story Okay, are we just kind of like watching you just live your weekend away and not get killed? And you know what? I still don't understand the motivation as to why they're all getting killed by this dude. Is he getting revenge? I don't understand why he's getting revenge because the scenes of people getting killed are awful. Once again, I'll put clips throughout this video, but I don't I don't get it. It's... Hmm. This movie... I, I feel like I'm going to be thinking about this movie for a while, but not for the reason that I meant to. I'm just going to try and understand it. It is one of those movies that I will re-watch, believe it or not, but with friends. There's no way I'm putting myself through that again all on my own. No fucking way. No. <laughs> the last point I have down is that it, it feels like the actors genuinely had fun filming this. And you know what? If it's a shit movie, at least they had fun, right? They're not, they weren't going for some nominations. Well, I hope they weren't. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's all I think I have to say about this movie. It was... Um, Definitely, my ears are itchy, ignore me. Uh, it was definitely uh, quite a painful and slow watch. And you should watch it, it's on YouTube, but don't watch it alone. Just don't do that to yourself. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything I have to say about this movie. Have you seen this movie by any chance? If you have, then why? How did you stumble across this film? I would genuinely love to know. And yeah. I think that's everything I have to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. I always ask at the end of all of my videos, what movie should I watch next? Leave a comment, find me on Instagram at Pavel Spam. You know what to do. You know what to do and you know where to find me. So, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>